This world is filled with people who make no sense. Let me explain something to everybody watching this video. Whether if you like me, you hate me, you want to see me suffer, you want to cuddle me, you want to bend me down on all fours, whatever it is, let me explain something very simple to you. Faking a hate crime is not helpful, nor is it good. Staging some event to try to explain to people that this person is a bad human being is not good. You want to know why? Because when you do that, you're inviting criticism to what the stupid thing is that you have done. Therefore, showing more support to the opposition. You understand that? No longer do we live in a world where everybody could sit there, articulate their points, discuss, debate, and live civilly. No, 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 no. No, no, no. We got to put on some stunts because no one cares about what's going on in society and we must fake these instances so that people understand what it means that this person is bad. Society has deemed these people superior when they don't need to be and all these other people over here, they're marginalized and they need our help. It's embarrassing how people keep doing this, but for some reason that's the trend. It's cool to do that. It's fun to do that. No longer can you actually beat a person with your words no 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 no. you gotta fake something in order to make it just like an orgasm you gotta fake it until you make it but i'm sure by now a lot of you have seen this weird picture of a bunch of people wearing white shirts khakis looking like a bunch of prep boys going to sunday school to get touched by the priest and for some reason they were deemed white supremacists even though there's a black guy there but surprise surprise after literal hours they all got outed because of course when you show up somewhere and people take pictures of you someone's gonna recognize you and someone's gonna say hey i know that guy i know that girl hey i know that one random black guy there and lo and behold it was all fake but not only was it all fake some weird ass organization came out of thin air and took credit for it a statement from the Lincoln Project, October 29th, 2021. Today, the Lincoln Project released the following statement. Glenn Youngkin has said, President Trump represents so much of why I am running. Youngkin proves it every day by trying to divide Virginians, 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 whatever, using racial code words like critical race theory and supporting a ban on teaching the works of America's only black noble lurite. The Lincoln Project project has run advertisements highlighting the hate unleashed in Charlottesville as well as Glenn Youngkin's continued failure to denounce Donald Trump's very fine people on both sides will continue to draw this contrast in broadcast videos on our social media platforms and at Youngkin rallies. You're admitting to going around and dressing people up like white supremacists in order to get people to see these are the type of people Trump has as supporters. These are the type of people who go into your schools and teach children. These are the type of people who are doing all these bad things to your children and not educating them about racism and black people and the oppression that we go through because it's necessary for us to understand that. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you if that is good or bad. I don't care. I'm not in school anymore. It's not my fucking problem. But you know it is watching people put on stunts to prove a point. I'm sorry, but if I wanted to oppose somebody speaking, I would listen to what they have to say and challenge them on it. Bring my own evidence. Bring my own facts. Actually try to hold a debate with them so that I could better understand them and they could better understand me. It's not about winning. It's not about getting a leg up. It's not about calling somebody some weird insult and feeling so secure with my pathetic life. It's about proving that, hey, your way is wrong. Here's why. Here's a better solution. But we can't do that anymore because all these idiots want to do is dress up in their Halloween costumes and say peekaboo trick-or-treat smell my feet I'm a white supremacist give me something racist to eat it's embarrassing and the fact that anybody would get on any platform or at least any statement and say hey we did that we're gonna keep doing it it's embarrassing how are you gonna get people to take you seriously how are you actually going to get more people to look at you and say you're legitimate you're somebody who we should listen to you're somebody whose word is actually truth and law that's a failure so congratulations everybody at the Lincoln Project you have embarrassed yourselves you have sat there and put up all those people as your spokespeople as the poster children for what it means to be a laughingstock I don't know what's 
going on in Virginia. I'm sorry about all you vaginas out there, but that's what you got to deal with. So whatever choices y'all make, whatever political issue going on there, that's one of the sides there. The ones who want to fake stunts to get you to see that the other side is bad. They can't craft an argument. They just want to dress up like dumbasses. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all in the next one. It's not that hard. You don't have to do this. You could just be normal instead of being a fucking weirdo. Bye.